Hey everyone, I'm here with Annie Liu. Annie, thanks for joining us today. So, You're welcome. I'm really happy to be here. Uh, I wanted to take an opportunity to ask you for uh, the advice that you would have for new developers. Um, and I've got a few specific things that I've seen you talk about that I wanted to ask you about. Um, and one of the first things, especially with your background in design, um, I know you've done really amazing things with CSS. And I've seen people online rag on HTML and CSS a little bit. There's a, some kind of attitude, like maybe they're like not programming languages. Uh, and I was wondering, mm. in your opinion, uh, especially like for new developers who are just learning these technologies, what are some of the most underappreciated skills in HTML and CSS? Mm, that's a really good question. I think people underestimate how much you can actually do with HTML and CSS. I know some developers who almost extensively just use CSS and HTML, and they have great jobs. And honestly, in my previous job, I was basically just using HTML and CSS. There's actually a lot of things that you can actually do without JavaScript. Um, I found this really cool code pen once. It was a Minecraft game. And it was completely made with just with no JavaScript, but it works perfectly. So you Whoa. think a game with you know like Minecraft, you need to have like JavaScript to add the logic, but you can be really surprised what you can do without it. Wow. One of these things that yeah, it's like pretty crazy. But one of the things that I try to do is um, at the very beginning, especially when I was you know learning all this, I try to think, okay, can I do it without JavaScript? And that kind of helped me to push my learnings in HTML and CSS itself. Um, it's definitely a very, very underappreciated technology, but you can't actually build anything on the web without, without them. Like they are the building blocks and you need the building blocks. So yeah, totally, totally necessary. Totally. Um, I understand that you are leveling up your skills really heavily in React right now. And React yes. is intimidating. I learned React recently. Um, do you have tips for learning React? Yeah. I think one of the best things that you can actually do is to learn the fundamentals of JavaScript. Um, sometimes on Twitter, I guess specifically, people you know, say like, you, you can learn React or you can learn JavaScript. It doesn't really matter like which way you do it. But I actually do think having a good fundamental knowledge of how JavaScript works will be, is huge in actually understanding um, React as a framework that is built on top of JavaScript or with JavaScript. So yeah, so that's, that was, that would be my, like my number one tip, like actually focus on JavaScript itself. Uh, you know, like go and do React. Like it, it doesn't really like everyone's got their own journeys, and it's actually quite fun to actually dive into React and just you know take it for a test run and try things because you're still learning. But you know, use it for a while. And we kind of did that in bootcamp. Like we had a week of just you know focusing on JavaScript, and then before jumping into React. But I'm actually coming back now and really doing more advanced fundamental JavaScript things, and I'm finding that it extremely helpful knowing about you know things like the core stack or um, things about how my boss recently told me about um, race conditions which is not you know exclusive to JavaScript but all those little concepts really really help in knowing why and how JavaScript you know was built and for the purpose of it and how react specifically as a framework, was built on top of that to solve particular problems that JavaScript has. So, yeah. Oh, good advice. Learn JavaScript. <laughs> and JavaScript <laughs> is fun too. It is, yes. Yeah, it, is, it works my, the part of my brain a lot. Like I, when I'm doing JavaScript stuff, like there's a lot of mental strain. And like, I, I love that. Like I love that feeling because it means that I'm actually like really doing something difficult. And I know that over time it will get easier. But yeah, it's definitely not so, like the most easiest thing. If we drew, if I go back and drill down a little bit on my previous question, do you have advice for learning JavaScript? Okay, I'm going to recommend this course, which I'm actually going through right now. It's called JavaScript 
the weird parts and it's an incredible course. Like it really goes into the nitty gritty of the hows and why JavaScript was built. And it's really, really helped me to level up. I, and the thing about it is that as I'm working on this, I talk to my CTO about stuff as well. And he's like, wow, I didn't know that. So it's been a really good experience. And I know that by sharing things with him, um, it's helping me to kind of consolidate those learnings in my mind as well. So yeah, mm-hmm. JavaScript, the weird parts. <laughs> That's awesome. And yeah, sharing and talking about things is great for reinforcing ideas and helping kind of ground them. Um, I see behind you that there's a large stack of books. Yes. Uh, do you have any books you've read recently that you think are good reads for developers? And not necessarily web development books, but you know, for the yeah. f- full rounded, fully rounded developer education. Okay. I have to say that I've really given a big, a good shot at reading some developer books and I get like a few pages and I get really sleepy. I don't know why that happens, but it's a very consistent thing. But I'm going to recommend, I really like this book here, Atomic Habits by James Clear. And okay. it's talks, it talks about, um, you know, the building blocks of habit. And I think about my developer career and all the little things that I have to do. And it's that kind of consistent um, building of habits to get you to where you need to get to. I think it, this book really resonated with me because it kind of reinforced a lot of, or validated a lot of the things that I've done in the past about, you know, starting small, like not needing to have like a really big, overwhelming purpose before I got started. It's just like really taking the small steps and then those steps compound and, you know, then you have this like really great career or something. But that's the idea behind 100 Days of Code as well. It's just like building small habits and then those habits will compound over time and make a big difference. So I think this book has been um, really, like it's a really good one. And I, yeah, I recommend reading it. Can I ask you if you have an example of a small habit? that helped you make a bigger difference for you personally? Um, yeah. One of the things that, okay, in terms of habits, like, do you mean just like specifically related to code or more generally? Generally. It could be related to code, but I'm wondering if there's something that you learned from this, something that this book inspired you to, to do. Okay. There's kind of four things that I do every day or try to do every day. And I think it's, I do them because I feel like, um, being healthy, like in both body and mind will help me to work a lot better and more efficiently. But that's drink enough water, do some form of exercise or movement. Um, I meditate and I read every day as well. So I have these four things that I'm doing every day and I try not to make it like really, really big, like, for me, for example, like to exercise, like literally I will tick it off if I've done my 15 push-ups a day. So that is me for exercise because I know over the long term I can build that up, but it's just like the actual physical or the act of actually doing it um, to help me to build that, that I guess, mum, I can't think of the word right now, but like it's just to actually like build that the memory muscle yeah. like to actually do it. So yeah. Cool. So I would say like for me, like right now it's like those four things. And with the with the meditation, I find focus is like I struggle with focus sometimes. So I get a, like easily distracted by things. So with uh, meditation, that helps me to like build up my muscles for focus and making sure I'm doing the work. Yeah, that's a really good one. I could do another video about meditation too. <laughs> Well, thank you so much. That was um, all really interesting and really nice to talk to you. Thank you, Sam.